Hi there, Wim here. Today we're diving into Don't Forget, a short exploration game inspired by dementia. We'll piece together memories by finding clues and playing brain-stimulating mini-games, all while grappling with the effects of dementia. This game looked interesting to me because it tackles a heavy topic with care, incorporating real-life activities that help people with dementia, like writing notes and playing memory games. Through Don't Forget, we'll get a small glimpse into what it's like to live with dementia. Let's get started. All right, so in case of loss, please return to Whimsy. All right, so controls. Um, pretty typical interacting space bar, open closed journal with tab. Guys, I'm going to warn you right now. I usually do not play on a keyboard. I don't love it. So <laughs> we'll see how this goes. Bear with me. Push and drag. Interesting. Okay. Inspecting objects and mini games. So I woke up somewhere I vaguely recognized my head feeling light and my mind completely blank. How I got here and why it feels so familiar, I do not know. The only clue I have is this journal, except I can't really make out anything inside it. Like it's all blocked out of my mind somehow. Maybe retracing my steps will help me remember. I use these to mark important things might be a good place to start. Okay. So chapter one, the house. All right, so. Oh, okay. Oh, I got it. Okay, so let's move this. Can't get around there yet. I don't love that it's sitting in the middle of the hallway, but all right. Ah, okay. Wants us to continue moving this, I guess, and then let's check this out. Cat food. Tuna with carrots, the only flavor of food my cat would eat. Senior cat, press space to continue. There is more to this object that you still have to figure out. Try and keep your focus, press space to continue. Oh, okay, focus, oh god. Um, perfect. I'm just guessing here, guys. I'm just really good. <laughs> so, kind of as I said at the beginning of the game, these are actually, like, activities that people with dementia try to do. Dropped his food. Oh, collect memory. Okay, don't forget. Okay, um... Okay, let's go back. Or maybe get out. Okay, okay. So let's see. Can I go in here? Yes, I can. Kitchen. Okay, so I'm assuming we're just kind of looking for all of these little post-it notes around the house. Oh, that'd be kind of fun if you could move these. Drag mouse to tear off paper. Oh, okay. Holidays, August. Okay. Birthdays on the 27th. Let's say work call. Okay. 
I really hope I'm not supposed to be memorizing any of these. <laughs> this date seems important, it being circled and all. If only I could figure out why. So what, we are in, can't tell, September? The 21st. Okay, let's maybe figure out why. There was more to this object, okay, yep. Uh... Perfect. Good. Didn't realize I was going to have to be doing math here. <laughs> uh, minus. So, seven. 23. Uh, 14. There we go. Marking the big day. I don't know if we actually know what the big day is yet. Maybe we're getting there. Okay. I can clearly see the joyful tears in my wife's eyes. Why she was so overjoyed is a fuzzy thought, though. I only recall- oh no, shoot, missed that. I feel like I've lost another part of my mind. It doesn't look like I can do anything with whatever's on the ground there. Okay. Going here? Oh wow, okay. Nursery's all packed up. Oh my gosh, this house is huge. Like another door over that way. To my little dove. The melody takes me back to my childhood days. Where my mother would always let it play while I was drifting off to sleep. I swear it keeps nightmares away or at bay. Mm -hmm. My little dove, and then there was something on the bottom here. Okay, let's get this down. Tide full. Is this hand mind? Mind slips, ebbs, flows. I am that. Now purifying, soothing. It doesn't look like I can do anything with that. Oh, here we go. Okay. But I may have missed something. We'll have to go back. Yeah. Inspect. Okay, we'll stand. Doesn't look like there's anything over here. I don't think I miss anything because it seems like it's. Look at all of these post it notes though. I think it gives me prompts when there's actually something to look at, I hope. Bedroom. I could try centering my thoughts, which will help me remember what I did. It will have an impact on my mind, though. Uh, let's do it. Oh, am I supposed to follow? I feel like I've lost... Uh-oh, okay. Ah, oh, post-it note. Okay. Oops. Okay, maybe we have to move it forward. There we go. Ooh, key is. Okay. Oh, here are my car keys, but why are they under the couch? I'm pretty sure I didn't leave them there. Good question. Love the little ping pong ball and paddle.
Ah, that's probably why the keys were under the couch. Kitty's favorite toy. Okay, that. Okay, looks like there's probably stuff around the house yet that we can find, so... Oh no, shoot. I'm starting to piece together what happened. I got my car keys, fed Hubert. Oh shoot. Gosh, I keep missing those. Okay, let's go over here. I wonder what those eyes mean. So funny, this was on the... Ah, my best athletic accomplishment, winning the high school tennis table cup. This brings back memories. My opponent served straight into my backhand return. He missed the ball and the crowd erupted in cheers. I won. Nice. Okay, it looks like maybe a CD and a picture frame. Let's go s Oh, shoot. Let's go see if we can find that. Wow, this is crazy though. Like, for real, look at just the amount of post-it notes that are sitting around. Why is the car in here? <laughs> I feel like I lost another part of my memory. Oh, here's something. Here's a picture frame. Perfect. Oh. Guessing on the location, this picture of my wife and me. Wow, she's gorgeous. Oh, strange how I can't recall how I look myself. Oh, that would be weird. I wonder, does that actually happen? Wow, that's crazy. Just think about that. Like not really knowing what you look like. Wow. Okay. Okay. And then I think we're just looking for like a CD. Something over here. Sit. Stand. Oh, is this it right here? There we go. Oh my gosh, do you guys remember doing this? This is like maybe showing my age a little bit, but <laughs> creating a mixed CD and like writing all of the either the music on the outside like this or like just writing notes like this. So 21 of my favorite songs combined on one compact disc. It was an anniversary gift for my wife, complete with a beautiful poem etched on one side. So, I think we'll be able to read it in the journal. Yeah. Okay. So, where else now? I don't know if we've been over here. Unless we literally just came out of there, which we may have. Okay, let's see. Oh, we can drive, okay. I don't know if I should be driving, but let's see. Okay, perfect, yep, that gets us to chapter two. So the hospital, uh-oh. Complete chapter one, drive away from your house, okay. Browse records. Uh-oh. <laughs> this is what I'm saying. Like, I really hope I wasn't supposed to, like, remember her birthday. I think it was, like, September. Can we even write anything? No, it doesn't look like it. Insufficient patient information provided. Still can't remember all I did. I should check my journal. I don't technically know how to check my journal. So 
So let's see. I wonder if I can just go through. Hospital food is notor notoriously bad, and this one is no different. Just the smell brings back the horrible taste. Yuck. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> Gross. Looks like an old, dirty sponge or something. Hospital property. Okay. Okay, we found the food. Awesome. Anything else in this cafeteria to check out? Hallway. Yeah, that's the cafeteria. Inspect. Okay, this one has a blue post-it. I've seen these flowers before, and they're tulips as well, my favorite. That can't be a coincidence. These flowers have to be linked to why I'm here. Okay, yep, you're bringing them for your wife, I'm assuming? I wonder if we'll be able to see that. Oh god, okay. Oh my god. Two oh five. Okay. Okay, this must be it within the flowers. So treading on muscle memory. Tonsils, alien craters, blocking that itch to swallow you. Okay by the bed. Okay. The card has a beautiful poem, but no names. At least they are marked with a room number. I can probably use that to search in the patient database and find out what happened. Okay. Oh, okay, so I need everything. Okay. So wait, let's go back. What do I need? So I need patient number and birth date. Okay. Patient number and birth date. I could try sending my thoughts, which will help me remember what I did. It will have an impact on my mind, though. Uh... I think maybe we'll do never mind. I think we can find what we need. Patient room. Doesn't look like there's anything in here. Oh my gosh, there's so many patient rooms. Emanation room. Brain games. Cognitive function. Yep. Interesting to see that these simple games are actu can actually help your memory. Became pretty good. I've became. I've become. God, I can't talk. I've become pretty good at the mo at most of these. Oh my gosh. I've become pretty good at most of those since I play them quite often nowadays. So what? Simon says maze, Scrabble, Jigsaw, memory, and math. Okay. I really hope I'm not missing anything in any of these rooms. I think we probably just started at the beginning, huh? Make sure we're not missing any post-it notes. Go in here. Here's a note. Okay. Looks like a chart. 
Oh, is this the birthday that I need? Male. Responsible party other. Lives with. Student? No. Married. Do oh, doctors can always understand these things like they're reading a book. To me, it's just a bunch of gibberish. Made up words, yeah. So seven, four. Okay, so we just need the patient number now. Hypotension, blah, 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 Brady Kenzia. I don't know what any of that means. Yeah. Hopefully you guys are reading that faster than I am. Okay, right, let's go see what's over here. Locked. Okay. So, another patient room, I'm assuming. Oops. Just wanted to make sure there wasn't anything over here. Uh oh. Everything's spinning. I'm going to. What was that? Oh, my head hurts. How did I end up here? Oh. Huh. Head x-ray. Oh, here's my patient number. Okay, perfect. X-rays always have creeped me out. Being able to see right through a person. It's cool as well, but creepy. Even creepier that I have seen this one before. What is this actual game called? There is a game like this. If anyone remembers it, put it in the comments. There it is. Yep, MRI. I've actually done one of these before. Not for, not for my brain, something else. Um, but yeah, they're kind of crazy to kind of have, having to be inside one of those. And where they were, um, my MRI, I had to be in like the, the whole thing, which was very strange. Very claustrophobic. Okay, so room, patient number, birthday, shouldn't show me enough information. Okay, so yep. Patient records. Oh, I do not remember where that. I remember the phone. I don't remember where that phone is. Let's go see if we can find it. Uh, was it back this way? I'm a little turned around. Where was that? Oh yeah, here it goes. Okay. Let's go answer the phone. Pick up the phone. Honey, are you at the hospital? Where are you? I'm going to have a meltdown. Uh... Oh, it's purposely doing that. Oh my gosh, weird. Weird. What? That's gibberish. I wonder if that happens. Are you really joking? At a time like this, just get here. On my way. My way. Okay. 
That's so strange. Uh-oh, what happened? Oh, weird. It's gonna... I'm gonna have trouble writing it again. That's so strange. Okay. Ugh. Can you imagine just, like, typing like that, too, and not remembering, you know, how to spell things really kind of brings some of those things to life in this game which is really really interesting and also like just makes you puts it into perspective you know oh a sock <laughs> which of you little babies lost their little tiny sock huh this is strange. I got the same ones at home. Uh-oh. I hope nothing happened to their kid. Looks like we're missing one more thing. Okay. Okay, I was trying to figure out what this is. So yeah, it's like where they put the, the newborns. Okay, can we get in here? Locked. Locked. Doctor's lounge, so we were already in here. Oh wow, it just keeps... Look at all those post-it notes. More and more of them are just like popping up. Weird. Okay, perfect. So now we have everything. So patient information, blood type B, admitted, cause of admission, blunt cranial trauma under surveillance for severe side effects. Oh, that's sad. That's actually interesting too, because it's one thing to kind of get dementia if, you know, I, I don't know if it's genetic or not, but it, also, if you just kind of get it randomly, you know, that's devastating and whatnot, but if you end up getting it because you had some type of, like, trauma, too, that's just, just seems so unfair, you know? I was the patient. How did I end up with blunt cranial trauma? I'm so close to figuring this out. I could just remember the missing pieces. Okay. Oh shoot, so we missed one thing. The accident. Complete chapter two. Okay, I wonder, so car accident. I didn't know you could, and maybe I'm gonna, maybe I'm thinking something that's not correct, but if this is going the route of like a car accident and then getting dementia from that, I guess I didn't even realize that that could happen. Loves this ping pong. My car charm in the middle of the road. Oh god, that doesn't look good. It should be hanging from my rear view mirror. I'm dreading to continue on now. Okay, so I just have a couple of things to collect here. Ugh, I'm kind of mad that I missed one of the things in the hospital. I feel like the tiny bit of a completionist in me wanted to to get that oh no uh if this is gonna be about like his family dying and he has dementia Ugh. this doesn't make any sense a teddy bear in a place like this and it has scorch marks Ugh. fresh ones at that the smell of burnt fabric is still in the air no. Hmm. Ugh, can you imagine forgetting something like that? And then remembering? Yeah, so this is making me think he def they definitely had a kid. The bear, we saw the sock, and then in the house there was a nursery. The police car here. Oh wow. 
Hospital now, baby's here. Shoot, I've got 15 voicemails and a lot of texts from my wife. Hospital now, baby's here, a baby. I'm sure I went to the hospital, but a baby. Oh, he doesn't remember. Something here. Unless that's just part of the... That's... that's my car. The car charm, the bear, my phone, the message. My memory is coming back. My wife, I was going to see her, our baby. I was going to see them. I didn't make it. I let them down. Hmm. Donning on myself in the light of every sunrise, find my feet caked in mud. It is in me always, in dreams, in fragments, untraceable ten times a day until I drop the pin into bleeding fingers. Maybe this time I can hold on. Scrawl the reason on my arms and permanent marker. Etch it into flesh when the ink dries, but I shed my skin like a cyclical serpent. Choking back my own tail each night, anew, anew, anew. Wow. You know, even though this was like a really sad theme, And, you know, kind of a subject's a little bit of a downer. Like I said at the beginning, I found this to be really interesting because it really brings to life, as much as it can in a game, kind of the things that someone with dementia has to deal with. And it really just makes you think, right? Yeah, I really, as much as this was kind of sad, I really did enjoy this one. I would love to hear what you guys thought about this one, too. And with that, guys, I appreciate you being here, and I will see you in the next one.